All right, so Coach Todd Bowles becomes the first Jets coach to win his season debut at home since Sammy Baugh in 1960. The Browns kind of helped out by committing 12 penalties for 109 yards. So in my conversation with Metro New York's Christian Dyer, I started off by asking if the Browns should have gotten a game ball. And in inadequacies that they brought on themselves, but also inadequacies that the Jets inflicted on them. When you look at the turnovers, five in one game, Josh McCown being knocked out of the game, Johnny Manziel being reckless, you know, with the ball so many times, making poor decisions, the injuries that they had. In so many ways, the Jets were able to capitalize. And in years past, under Rex Ryan teams, when they didn't have the kind of discipline they have now with Todd Bowles, you would see that this Jets team wouldn't be able to capitalize. They would be the ones with the self-inflicted wounds. But now week one, maybe we're beginning to see a little bit of an identity here from the Jets, from Todd Bowles, who they're going to be. If you make a mistake, we're going to capitalize on it. Yeah, and the identity on the offense really centers around what Ryan Fitzpatrick can do. Now, say what you will about this guy's arm strength, but this guy is accurate. He's got football smarts. He knows where to put the ball. Yeah, the numbers weren't necessarily beautiful numbers, and it was certainly a rough start for Fitzpatrick in this game. He had that interception, but for the uh, Brandon Marshall remarkable fumble strip, could have been a little bit of an uglier game for Fitzpatrick, but this is a guy who understands Understands the offense. Two years with Chan Gailey in Buffalo throwing for over 3,000 yards. If he was a Jet during those two years, those would be the third best career passing numbers in a single season <laughs> for a Jets quarterback in franchise history. So it gives you a little bit of perspective what Ryan Fitzpatrick can do. We make fun of the arm strength like you alluded to, Steve, but certainly he's a guy who makes smart throws and his ball placement. You look at player stride is unbroken when Fitzpatrick throws the ball. That's a difference from Geno Smith. Speaking of putting the game into perspective, the injuries to Malden and Cromartie certainly put this game into perspective, but that's why you have guys step in. That's why you have depth at every position, and Marcus Williams came in with an interception. Yeah, Marcus Williams, undrafted rookie free agent out of North Dakota State, cut last year by the Houston Texans. Who signs this guy? John Idzik, who everyone runs out of town. But John Idzik made a couple really good signings, Marcus Williams being one of those guys. Long, rangy cornerback, likes to be physical at the line. In many ways, he might be a better fit than Antonio Cromartie in terms of the scheme and style that the Jets want from their defense. We saw Cromartie got torched on that second quarter touchdown pass over the top when he bid on that double fake move. Perhaps Marcus Williams? Maybe a blessing in disguise for the Jets that they can go with this guy over Cromartie, who had a pretty bad training camp.